Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zerai here. So, I wanted to do my full review for Dragon's Dogma 2. I have finally finished the game from start till the end. I want to also mention that all of the pros and cons that I had in my previous video of terms of my first impressions on Dragon's Dogma 2, well, unfortunately, they still dis remain the same. Now, a good thing about it that I genuinely have, well, this game grew on me, basically, right? I ended up continuing playing through the game, and to be 100% honest, it, the only reason I continued even playing through this game because I ended up doing live streams for it. And, you know, people just kept me sane, basically. This game, it really depends, really demands, I should say, your time. Because it is really, really unfriendly towards the beginners and also I hate the fact, and I'm gonna say this again and again and again, I hate this one save system. I want to do a little bit of escapes, uh, saves coming because I want to actually preserve my time. But yet it doesn't also have fast traveling even though it's very, you know, limited, right? There are ways of doing it and I appreciated the way they even have it implemented here but it still really demands of your time and it pissed me off seriously a lot of times and I kept complaining about it. It really, really annoyed me. Afterwards, when I ended the game, the way I didn't even get the trophy of like, you know, ending the game because it asked me and I did something, I don't know what, so I had to do a final boss, boss battle again. And I'm just like, no, I'm not doing this crap again. It's the same thing again because I already have faced plenty of different varieties of dragons, enemies, orcs, uh, griffins, and many different bosses and many different big, big enemies. So let's talk about the enemies. Unfortunately, I noticed that this game is very, very, very repetitive. Like every time when you're going through the direction, all you do is really come across of pawns and they're constantly just spamming and telling you I'm I'm this and I'm this they're giving you your uh, their resume so that you could hire them right and so basically every time they stop you on your journey and they keep on telling you about their stuff and what they're good at and like you already have all your pawns with you you're not feeling to change so there's no point to have this implemented here while I already have all my pawns in my, you know in my party so okay that's fine I can ignore this afterwards every step I make every other corner I take I have to face different varieties of enemies sometimes they're a goblin sometimes there's an orc out of nowhere that comes out there's a cyclops and it gets irritating because it tends to continue on with the same repetitive structure of within this game and it really got to me unfortunately now there are elements that are genuinely interesting to explore for example you go into caves and mines and stuff that you go through and you can find a lich out there down there somewhere as like a skeleton uh, king knight whatever a mage right that usually comes out and actually only comes out at night well of course it could be daytime but in a cave he could be there just roaming around doing his own thing he could be summoning skeletons that you, warriors that you'll have to face they're pretty problematic of course if you take your time uh, you know pay attention then yeah you can get this done i've killed many varieties especially griffins way too many times and they kept on continuing with the same repetitive structure basically seeing the same um, um, varieties of enemies and not about dragons i was actually quite disappointed how well uninspired the dragons are the same dragon is always the same right there's always different varieties of dragons at least the way they look but not in terms of like well the structure all there's really big difference is actually the color that's it but yet again there's a uh, cool you unique kind of implementations for example the plague that you can actually catch or at least your pawns can catch and get the whole village infected it's very interesting components put in here that i liked i didn't actually end up getting this you know this plague or this disease or whatnot but still you know i hear it's possible to get it it's pretty unique i like it now there's some other implementations that are here as well well, I like, for example, you can uh, just fabricate items and make duplicates of them. Sometimes they can be good quality, sometimes they're completely, well, rip off anyway. There's so many unique elements within this game that kind of interested in me. Unfortunately, this game is completely broken. A lot of cases, this game is just, the performance on this game I've, I was having is insane. It's ridiculous. Like I'm playing on PlayStation 5, and it's it's inexcusable uh, for this to be in this state the way it came out. I was genuinely like, it still is. Like at the recording of this video, I'm still experiencing these performance issues. And after like while I've been playing through the game, I already have downloaded two patches on the release when they released. Uh, 
and yet it didn't do anything, unfortunately. Story god awful. I don't know what the hell were they even thinking with the story. And genuinely was interesting in like how they ended up like starting the story, but then they just like left it alone at the very end, right? That's it. End. End it right there. What? what? Seriously? It's just, uh, it's very poorly implemented, very poorly done, the, you know, the ending of the story as well. I really did not like it. Voice acting is also a little bit questionable that I've noticed. And of course, if you find something like a vocation that genuinely works for you, and for me it was a thief class, I never found a reason for me or compelled a reason for me to go and try a different skill or vocation, right? I didn't bother trying to play as a mage or maybe like a soul sword wielder or an archer it just didn't seem much of a reason and it's also perhaps my fault because i should have just tried it at least maybe i would have actually have found some kind of you know interesting facts within these things like play as a sorcerer or perhaps play as a trickster it just genuinely could be an interesting component within this game that i perhaps should have tried but at the end of the day you know while i was playing through the game I kept on telling myself, ah, oh, let's go check that, or let's go and check there, or let's cut off Medusa's head and preserve her head and come back and then petrify the same Medusa again. You know, there's a trophy for that you actually can do. But then I thought to myself, there's too much homework, fuck this, I'm not gonna do it. You know, like, kept, I kept, it just kept, kept coming back to my mind, and it just, this is just homework, this is just homework. The best equipment, best items that you can have to grab is in that location. This is homework, you have to get there to get the best as possible, best of uh, armor, weapons, and just... I kept on going and just like bigger the homework, bigger the, like you have to continue playing through. No, I at the end I was like, no, I'm done with this. I'm just going to concentrate on the main story, finish the game, bring in, bring in this full, my full review. And also it's because I was just getting annoyed by this game because it's so repetitive. So many things are always done the same and all you do is going from A to B while walking and you have to make sure that you're walking you know during the daytime so anytime you see camp well it's a, pretty much a life savior like there's really is no reason for you to go out there at night unless of course if there's a specific thing for the quest that you require like facing an enemy that usually only spawns at night or maybe something else that you can find during the night now sure but other than that if you're like me just simply going for the story or perhaps like you got sick of this game and just i want to be done with this don't bother going out uh, in this world at night at all. You see, there's just not much components within this game that kind of invites you to go through this game at, during the night. And this is why the best thing about it is just going to the campfire, going to inn and sleep through till the morning. And then go on your adventures and your merry way. Every time you see a camp, make sure you utilize it all the time. Make sure your pawns have their own campsite, uh, camp kit, right? Camp kits. And yeah, anytime there's like a, maybe an enemy comes up at night and disturbs your peace and you have to take care of them, then you can, of course, uh, you lose your camp kit usually, not always, but usually. And then you obviously, since you had another one, you can actually put back the camp and continue on sleeping till the morning. And it's the same thing with the Oscar. If Oscar really saves this game for me, I have to mention. Without the Oscar, I don't think I would have been able to finish this game. It really got to me and kind of boring as well. Because so many times and so many occasions, like, I don't want to play this game. Like, that's how I felt a lot of times. But then when I was playing through the game, I genuinely did find the fun within it. But then... I kind of got bored after like play PlayStation PlayStation around three hours. I was like, oh, I don't want to play this. You know, just there's no motivation within this game that at least it didn't seem like they kind of cared about this. Like I did hear that Dragon's Dogma One basically is is identical to Dragon's Dogma Two. Uh, it's just been elaborated, expanded upon, and without having any sort of limitations. Fantastic, but yet again. I feel like they should have done more, but I'm not sure, dude. But also, I'm not really sure if this is a bad thing. I did, I do want. It is a little bit of a nitpick, though. You know, when you climb on your big enemies, every time when you try to climb on specific enemies, especially dragons, like really big dragons and stuff, it just you kept getting stuck in some areas that you just cannot go through, and it's really finicky the animations and styles weird also one last thing in terms of the looker and the beauty the quality the graphics yeah this game can look beautiful occasionally but it's so grayed out it's not exactly vibrant and bright 
and I think it needs more work in terms of the engine. Now I do know it's made by the RE engine, quite a shocker if not, because this is actually the same engine used for Resident Evil games, but yet Resident Evil games are like 10 times better by the, you know, by similarities in quality. But yet I get it, this is an open world game comparing to Resident Evil games that are more li uh, linear approach. But yet, you know, I just wanted to mention that I feel that this game needed more vibrancy and more color. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. Again, maybe it's a little bit of a nitpicking situation. All right, well, that's all I wanted to share regarding my review for Dra Dragon's Dogma 2. I am a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you, but nevertheless, yeah, the game is like a 7 out of 10. It's not anything truly special. And I'm not exactly surprised that Rise of the Ronin is getting more sales uh, comparing to Dragon's Dogma 2. Because Dragon's Dogma 2 is a lot less friendly game. So it's easy to get into Dra Rise of the Ronin comparing to this game. But by definitive though, I do think that Dragon's Dogma 2 is just a better game. But nevertheless, 7 out of 10 is the max I can give on a bad day, 6 on a good day, 7. And right now... This game genuinely deserves a 7 with the appalling performance qualities and issues and bugs that this game got. Especially that I couldn't even fucking finish two of my quests. Ridiculous. Yeah, this, it, this game is a 7. It should never came out the way it did. The, sh uh, the developers should have waited, they should have delayed it, but they chose not to. Anyway, there you go. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.